Okay, this is how to do it in Tinkercad. It's a little bit different. Just start by importing the SVG, the same one we used from the Fusion. And the dimensions, you can input them, but don't really worry about it. The scale is really, don't have to worry about any of that. Just import, we'll size it in a second. And it comes in, it's fairly large. Just take a ruler, drag it onto the bed, and now you can see what size it is. If you hold the shift key in the little square, you can size it how you want. This keeps everything together. And we'll just size it down to around 50. Yeah, we'll do it about 100 so it's easy to see. Now with this, you have to write down what the dimensions are, the size. So this is 120.6 by 100.17. Then you want to drag out a cube and you're going to make the cube the same size. Let's see, was that it? Yeah, that was it. And then we're gonna make this one two. The thickness of the the thickness of the keychain or the however thick you want it. Then you need to select both of them. Come up to the align tool and make sure that they're centered. So it looks like that. The outline is taller, but we'll fix that in a second. It needs to be taller so we can select it right now. So you'd select it, go up to the duplicate button, press it, then you want to click on the bed so that you're not selecting anything. Because what happened is it duplicated it and since you have two of them sitting right here. So you just click on it, drag this center square up which is just pulling it up extruding it up you can see the line right here where the second one is then you want to turn it into a hole and then you want to use the air up arrow drag it down just straight down so that way it's going through and what we're going to do is we're going to use this to cut the outline out of the red one so then shift hold the shift key select the red one then I'm going to group them together. Now if we take this one here, the outline, and if we just drag it up, you can see that it's been cut out. And we'll just put that back where it was. This right here is your height, however high that is. If you do zero, it goes right back to the bed. And we need to also make this too. This is your height of how thick the piece is. So we'll make that too. So this is how it looks. You can change the color if you want, just to be able to see what's what. There, it makes it a little easier to see. But what you're gonna wanna do is export the border got to make sure you got zoom in to make sure you're actually clicking on it. And you can see how it shows that it's the black one. Then click export STL. Then you want to click the open white spot. And then the same thing. You're going to click export STL. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open them. Which is both of them right here. I didn't have Bamboo Studio opened. Okay, so we'll delete that. Go back to the folder. Take both of them, drag them both in. It's going to do the multi part, yes. You go to objects. You only have two objects, you don't have all the bodies like you do on the other one. 
So go to the first one, change one of the colors, and you'll end up like this. What you want to do is this one here, which is the background part, you want to split to parts. Once you split the parts, it's going to be a ton of parts, and it's every little piece that was on its own. So then you have to go down the line, find out which piece goes where, and make it a color. For the background, I'll make green. All the other colors will be the colors they're supposed to be. So that's five. That's a background five. Mm, that's the mouth part. And this part here is the background, so five. Background part, so that's five. The upper mouth, the one. The tail. The cheek is four. The eyes will be white. So they can stay the same. Oh, that's the tip of the ear. That one will be one. The other tip of the ear, one. The cheek, two. Not two, four. And this little section in here, five. This is the other part of the eye. And this should be. Nope, that's the other part of the eye. This one here is the main body, which, oops, and there. And then to get rid of the trim, you're going to select all of the ones that are green, or all the ones that you labeled for the background. Right click, delete. Delete. And there you go. It's the same thing as the fusion. Just the fusion to me, you have a lot more control of what you want to do. But let me know if you need any more information on this.